back to the channel and welcome to our review of the Samsung Evo 970 Plus. Yeah, hey Bruce. So if I remember correctly, this is the secret upgrade, the secret NVMe upgrade that you made to the Gigabyte Aorus laptop uh, quite a long time ago. Is that right? That's correct, Keith. So we're really letting the cat out of the bag after a very, very long time. Yeah, well, I don't think there's any... There's any hope for this cat anymore at this point? <laughs> As well, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe we just leave the cat in the bag at this point. It was a long time ago. Uh, but this Evo 970, is it even still relevant to review it? I I assume it must be since we're recording a video of it. Keith, uh, that's a great question. This device is still relevant, and the really good news for our viewers is by waiting such a long time to review it, we're going to save them a bunch of money. Well, yeah, if you uh, wait for a long time, prices do come down on technology quite a bit. So that that's our story here. That's, that's what our story is. Yep, and we're sticking to it. Okay, all right, let's, let's roll with that story then. It certainly sounds better than we're really busy <laughs> and we have a, a busy production schedule and family and all of this other stuff going on. So yeah, let's stick with that story. Indeed. And along with saving our viewers a ton of money on the device, we're going to save them a ton of time on this review by making this one short and sweet. Okay, so I think that we have just made a ton of our viewers really happy right now. We have a ton of viewers? Huh, interesting, interesting. Uh, anyway, so this drive isn't exactly the latest and greatest technology, but uh, for the right computer, this may be a great match. Okay, so we've got a few things to unpack here. Let's start with the ton of money the, that you mentioned that we've saved by waiting so long. What are we talking about? 10%? 20%? 30%? Actually, it's now under half the price of what I originally purchased the device for. So it is available using the Amazon affiliate link in the description below. For $159, and I originally purchased it for over $300. Wow, 50% off. That's that's good. That's that's definitely nothing to sneeze at. But you know, it really has been about 18 months, year and a half ish. That's a that's a long time when it comes to technology. Is this NVMe drive really something worth considering anymore? Oh, so that's a great question, Keith. So, uh, you know, it's going to come down to, again, what type of computer that you have. What I mean by that is, you know, many older computers aren't going to support uh, anything newer than a Gen 3 NVMe drive, which is what this particular unit is. Um, and even some newer computers that support uh, Gen 4 versus Gen 3, um, they may only have, say, like one slot that supports the Gen 4 versus Gen 3. And so this particular drive is about as fast as you're going to find in a Gen 3. So for the right computer, this uh, still might be the right choice. Okay, yeah, I think, I think this is kind of making sense to me, if I put my own words to it a little bit. If you have a laptop or, or, or a computer that only supports Gen 3, uh, then, then this is the thing. This is what you want, because this is as fast as you're going to get on a Gen 3. Um, and if you have one of these laptops, that supports Gen 3, then if you go and spend money on a Gen 4 drive, that's a total waste of money because you're going to be bottlenecked down to a Gen 3 speed anyway. So why would you pay for it? Exactly, Keith. So my Aorus uh, laptop had uh, two slots in it, one Gen 4, one Gen 3. The Gen 3 I purchased in order to, uh, you know, add some extra storage space, give myself some, uh, some render uh, and some, some cache space uh, on the system. Okay, good. So I'm curious, let's get to some numbers. So did we, did we put those manufacturing spec numbers to the test? So Keith, Samsung says that uh, this particular drive is rated for 3,500 megabytes per second read and 3,300 on the right. Okay, yeah, I see what you mean, 3,500, 3,300. Uh, you know, because the, the Newer Gen 4 NVMe drives, I believe, are getting around 7,000 megabytes per second. So that's yeah, that's a significant difference, but um, but that requires that your laptop has an available Gen 4 slot in it to begin with. But uh, yeah, so 33, 3,500. So 
What about your mileage? How did you do on your laptop? So Keith, I'm, I'm going to throw the numbers up here and, and let you kind of uh, see for yourself. Wow. You know, that's... That's pretty good. I mean, 3379 compared to 3500, 3242 compared to 3300. That's that's very close to a manufacturing spec. I mean, we've certainly seen way bigger differences than that in terms of what a manufacturer will claim and what you actually achieve. This is good. This is really good. Yeah, I have to say I've been really impressed. And since I use this in, uh, you know, as a secondary storage device for a fairly critical role on uh, video editing, uh, it's really been great having this uh, drive perform, you know, really pretty close up to those specs. Um, it, that's that's impressive. All right, that's it. Nice and tight. Hey, if you're still here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We want subscribers. Keith, I, I know there was something I was supposed to say, but I'm completely uh, mesmerized and uh, sidetracked by your coffee cup. So it looked like, and it could possibly be, a hinky-dinky grocery store coffee cup. I mean, I don't remember the last time there was a hinky-dinky open. How old is that thing? Uh, y yes, yes, you are correct. Let me hide my eyes so the camera focuses. This is a hinky-dinky <laughs> coffee cup. And no, it's actually not that old. I can't remember when Hinky Dinky went out of business. It was a long time ago. I don't think my family ever shopped at Hinky Dinky. And for our viewers who are totally confused, Hinky Dinky was a grocery store chain in the Omaha area, probably mostly in the 70s. Uh, but yeah, I don't think it exists anymore. Probably they got bought by somebody. But no, it's not that old, Bruce. I just, I found this on one of those, you know, retro you know, sites where you can buy stuff like that. So, but yeah, I'm not a hinky dinky fan. My family never shopped there. I don't think yours did either, but this is a really cool logo. I just kind of dig it. So I like Omaha things. That's it. Hey, if you're actually watching this, then you obviously like this video. So just make it official. Hit the like button. And since you're still here and hopefully you've hit that subscribe if you weren't already a subscriber and uh, hit the like button because you're still here and you obviously like the video, uh, make sure you hit that uh, turn on all notifications uh, so you get notified of uh, new episodes. Uh, you don't want to miss any of this, and uh, you know we're going to have to figure out which notifications Keith has turned on because he's being flooded with you know hinky-dinky logoed uh, coffee cup advertisements and acting on that. So thanks for joining us. You'll see us on the next episode of Dad's Talk Tech.